Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at another beautiful vanilla ship from the Steam Workshop. Now, this is the UNSC Strident, created by Derp, and I have to say, when I see a Halo ship hit the workshop, I am really intrigued and definitely have to check them out, and this one is no exception, it is very beautiful, very well detailed, both on the exterior and on the interior, and I think we'll just begin by having a look around the place. We're going to stand to the front, work our way to the back, and then we'll have a look around the internals of the thing, pretty much. That's all it is. Now, first up at the front, we have an interesting little antenna array surrounded by a number of different hydrogen thrusters. And something I really like about the Halo sort of ships is how the armor seems to curve around the design, but leaves space for a little bit of spaced armor, extra added protection. So you can see how the upper armored shell and the lower armored shell are sandwiched and in between it we have this rather exposed part that feels very sort of gritty and you can see a lot of the internal workings of the ship here you can see how he's added the details by adding some of them external components and down here a little bit lower we have these domes that is added in to the design as well as some half constructed blocks and this kind of consists throughout this whole area that's been sloped and slanted as well as variations of different sorts of semi-constructed blocks we have our famous sort of blast door blocks that when they put in a configuration like this they almost look like this sort of vents within the side of the ship itself and then adding a little bit more detail and something you'll notice across this whole of this design is it's used a lot of these audi textures just to really give off a lot of detail and it's something that i would really recommend doing in a lot of other ship designs yourself as well now coming down a little bit further we have the underneath the ship and you're probably wondering aaron why is there a load of doors across the bottom of the ship like this well this ship has a feature of having eight drop pods that can be released underneath i'll show you that shortly and then below, a little bit further along the back, we have two car containers, once again exposed, but at the same time, that means they can be accessed if you're building around them. Now, coming to the top of the ship, we also have the same again. We have eight large sorts of doors. Now, on top, these are actually missile silos, and missiles will soon shoot out the top of these when I get to the cockpit and launch them, and I'll show you that feature as well. Now, the cockpit itself is not super functional in the terms of space engineers, where it'd be blown off the face of the Earth in the first few minutes of battle because players would target it knowing that you're sitting right there in that seat. But apart from that, it is very beautiful, very eye sort of catching. And as we work our way to the back, something that's quite popular with a lot of Halo ships is this sort of wing, sort of um, what you could call it, is an extended piece of armor out on the side that protects the engine bay itself. You can see how that's extended out there, adding a little bit more protection and a little bit of detail at the same time. Now, the engine bay itself is very detailed. Again, we've got the hydrogen thrusters that have been actually paneled off by using the catwalk blocks, but they've just been really integrated into the engine bay itself, and it really feels like it's all part of the same existing design. It doesn't feel like it's really just stuck on the back there to power the ship. And up here, we have a little bit of a catwalk so you can enter through the rear of the ship. So that is pretty much the exterior covered. Let's go inside and actually have a look around the interior. So let's begin at the interior part of this door. So we're going to enter through the bridge airlock here, and we're going to seal that door up behind us so we can repressurize this chamber. And you'll notice that it's quite a confined cockpit area. We've got a lower sort of briefing area, what I like to call it, and then we've got an upper sort of command deck area up there. So let's actually drop down and we'll have a look just at some of the features that are in this room. So currently some of the monitors are actually displaying offline and then suddenly they display online as well, but I'm guessing it's just a bug with space engines at the moment. It seems that when I look the other way, they decide to turn themselves off and then turn themselves back on again like they're doing here. And we've got a number of different features here where we can turn the interior lights off, maintenance lights, we can also turn the hangar signals on and off, as well as the hangar lights. And I'm guessing this central column is used to project sort of holographic briefings. You can see them stations have then turned back on as soon as I look away. Now, as we head up to the upper sort of command area, we've got, of course, the captain's seat. We've got some pilot seats. And we also have what I guess are sort of weapons control seats where you can control the rocket systems. But let's, without a doubt, just pop into this seat and have a look at the acceleration and some of the other features. So first off, let's accelerate. Okay, the acceleration in kilometers an hour is quite good. Let's have a look at some maneuverability. You can hear the engines actually kicking in there. Very beautiful indeed. Let's check our stop rate. Okay, quite slow. It's quite poor at the moment, but I'm guessing that's because we've got only four or five thrusters that are actually repelling us backwards. Actually, there's quite a few more tucked in the side, but we're still slowing down at a slower rate, so we'll have to prepare for that instead of ramming into a station. Now, the second thing I wanted to test was the weapon systems now on the top we've got the missile silos as you saw before i'll just disable the hood for a moment and we'll switch across to number three and if i press number one you'll see how them hangar doors open up and the second thing we're going to do is launch some missiles so let's launch bays two three four and five and we'll soon see the missiles raise out of those silos just look how cool this is going to be 
look at that, it's popped me back inside why the missiles have launched for some reason. I don't know why it's done that. But you can see the missiles have actually straightened out. Let's launch another two since we missed that. So we'll launch five and six. You see the missiles are actually popped out. I think we'll only be able to launch one at the moment because I want to keep some in the silos as well. So when we go down there, you can see how they work. So they can actually level off. And then the weapons operator can take control of that individual rocket and guide it in towards that target. Just look how cool they are though. Very nice little feature, I have to say. So let's pop out this cockpit for the moment, and we'll decide, or decide to go down the deck. We won't go up because there's nothing up above us. We'll drop down. So dropping down and opening this door, we'll enter into a nice little corridor where we've got these little pillars, giving us a little bit of detail, and I guess you could say on both sides, as well as some nice areas where we can hang out when we're AFK. Very nice indeed and a little bit of a control center there. Now entering through here, these little display signs decide to switch themselves on and off when I look away from them for some reason, but sometimes they decide to actually tell me where different parts of the ship are. Okay, it's not, it's not working that time, looking away from the actual screen. So we'll pop down a further deck, and we've got the hangars, reactors, drop pods. We'll explore the missile bay first that we just launched their missiles from. So if I open up this door, we should be kicked out by oxygen, because I think I will actually left the doors open, I did. We've got the individual missiles here themselves, just look at that, very cool sort of design, very simple as well, it's on a merge block, gravity launches it up, then the missile takes over and fires it forward towards the target. Now moving into this area, we actually have access to a little bit of the command structure behind the missiles, so we've got the timer blocks and stuff that controls them, a little bit of detailing back and forth, some extra components as well that don't do anything, but at the same time it's just there to look nice. So entering or exiting you could say through this door, we're back up at the top deck where the missiles have been launched through. So we'll drop back through the hangar door and we'll go to the rear of the ship this time. So we're dropping into here and then walking back down this corridor. The lights have actually been turned off, so let's press that, reactivate all the lights in this area. We've got the hangars up in this direction as well. So we're hangars on either side, down here on the right, we've got a hangar. Let's drop down here and that's actually a lower drop pod area. We'll go there in a second, the hangars here. There we go, access that door pull ourselves through here without a jetpack it'd be very hard to navigate around the ship and we've got the hangars here on the side now the problem with these hangars is they are very small so the issue is you'd only get a two by sort of ship in and out of here but we have got access so we can drop supplies off and regurgitate supplies through the connector there so let's go back down and to the lowest deck now the lowest deck is populated by drop pods you can see they've got a little bit of a sign here saying drop pods are ahead we drop down one more level and then we're now into the drop pod bay Oxygen pops all the way out, and you can see we've got eight drop pods, two on each side like so. There, we've got another one there. We've got a split where we have that. We've got some information on how to operate the actual drop pods themselves. And what I like to do, this is the simplest way I've noticed of doing it, is you can just pop the door open there, but you can just access this block, turn the gravity cube on, it drops it down to that level below. And then once that's done, you can actually open the door up, and there goes the drop pod, either with um, a stormtrooper in or just using it to actually escape the ship itself. Very nice indeed. But let's go all the way back up to the ship that I'm just going to cut to now. So we've gone back up a few decks, back up to the hangar deck, and we're going to open this rear door. Now this rear door leads us into the reactor room, and something that they've done here that's very nice is they've got a way of turning on and off the reactor. So turning them off retracts these pistons. I guess there's some sort of coils, like a nuclear sort of fusion sort of system. So let's simply turn them back on, and when we reactivate that, the coils will come back together. I guess in putting in the uranium or whatever in the coolant or whatever you want to say it is. I don't know exactly how it works, but it's a nice idea. However, we can also drop down here to one of the lower decks and into the gyroscope slash... Oh, what's that goddamn thing called? Warp drive, jump drive. It's named... The, the thing is named, isn't it? Jump drive. There we go. And that sign is offline. Maybe if I look away, go up here, the sign will decide to reactivate. There we go. And it's got some information with the sign on it there. Very strange how that error is happening at the moment where I'm looking away from the monitors, but it is an absolutely beautiful little ship. So if I just zoom myself out here, I've shown you around most of the features aboard the ship. Something you should definitely check out for yourself. It has some great inspiration for your own sort of builds. And check out the link for this in the description below.